Cardiff City women travelled to the Gen Quip Stadium to face Port Talbot on the evening of Friday the 11th of April. The Bluebirds are currently placed comfortably in second position in the Women's Welsh Premier League, their opponents sitting mid-table. Cardiff started off strongly and looked to open the scoring early on. Danielle Broadhurst found Erin Murray with a through ball playing her onside. A cross into captain Lauren Hancock created a chance for the Bluebirds to net, but the advancing Hancock couldn't quite get enough on it to redirect back towards goal. A corner for City taken by Broadhurst finds the head of Jess Dyer, but a chance denied and headed off the line by the Patalbot player. Picturesque scenes at the Genquip as the sun was setting for the second half. With the score still level at 0-0, Cardiff looked to move the ball upfield on the break, only to be intercepted in their own half with an opportunity for the home side to score being taken from distance. Nothing too pressing for the city keeper Taylor Gould, who held well. More good work between Broadhurst and Murray, beating her marker to receive the long ball upfield. A decent effort, but the Patalbot stopper denied. Another corner for Cardiff and, after some fumbling in the area and poor attempts to clear from the home side, City finally broke the deadlock after the keeper left a line for Alicia Davis to score. Another corner and another goal for Cardiff, this time courtesy of Erin Murray, doubling their lead and making the score 2-0. Could have been a third as Patalbot's defender very nearly netted herself in a bid to clear a cross in from Davis to an advancing Murray. Patalbot's turn for a corner and they came close to pulling one back but Murray deflected over. And so on the final whistle, Cardiff City earned themselves three points on the road with the final score ending Port Albert Town Ladies nil, Cardiff City Women 2.